in this session let's learn about dedicated versus shared servers okay we know when a user makes a connection to the oracle instance a process is created on the server right this process is dedicated to that one users session if we have four users running we have four process running in the oracle instance that means for every user connection there is a new process created within the oracle instance once the process is created the communication goes back between the user session and that process so each user will be interacting with the corresponding process you see we have four users running and we have four processes each communicating with their own process so if we have to create all these processes in the oracle instance it obviously consumes memory right as the number of concurrent connection increases the amount of memory required by all these dedicated server processes increases right that means we need to have a lot of physical memory our physical memory needs to be big enough so that all these processes can be created right and one more thing is since we are not as fast as the processes maybe we request for data and then the process sends the data to you maybe you are looking at the data and this process is sitting idle right until the user sends one more request this process is sitting idle in the oracle instance right that means even though these processes are consuming memory they are not being used all the time right so oracle came up with a concept of shared server database in the shared server database all the users will share the server processes sitting in the oracle instance okay that means one shared server process is used by many connected users what does this provide this provides scalability that means a huge number of users can connect without the need of creating individual processes for each user okay how does it work as soon as a user requests for some data it goes through the dispatcher process and then the request is placed in the queue and based on the order received the request is sent to the shared process which are running on the oracle instance and these processes run and send the response and then the dispatcher process sends the response to the user okay that means every time you send a request to oracle instance that is sent to a queue it waits in the queue until its turn comes and then once its turn comes the request will be processed and then the response is sent back to the user okay now you are thinking which one is better is dedicated server better or shared server better to be honest nobody is using shared servers these days but you are thinking why nowadays memory is so cheap and you can really get big physical memory so there is no scarcity in the amount of physical memory we can have on the server right so all the organizations are going for the dedicated servers in that way each user gets its own process and the response is fast okay here the user has to wait for his turn to come and then once the request is processed then only the response is sent to the user but here since he has a dedicated connection to the process the user can get the results immediately okay oracle database supports both this configuration dedicated server and shared server if you think in your organization you cannot spend that money to have enough memory then you can go with shared server it's very rare since the memory is so cheap so 99% of the organizations use the dedicated servers okay